Mercedes AMG E53 4Matic Plus Coupe is a rare kind of performance sporting car. Not only can it sprint to 62 miles an hour in under four and a half seconds to the accompaniment of an emotive soundtrack, but it also has a relatively efficient mild hybrid engine and can properly seat four people. It all delivers a pretty special and rather different grand touring experience. There's a sense of class, quality and style here that makes this car unique at its price point. It's been a long time since we've had a Mercedes E-Class Coupe or Cabriolet that was a proper AMG fettled serious driver's car. But this, we're told, might be it. The Mercedes AMG E53 4Matic Plus, available here as a Coupe or as a Cabriolet. Now, it's not the first Mercedes AMG version of the current generation E-Class Coupe or Cabriolet. This 53 variant directly replaces an E43 4Matic version of this model. Uh, that had a V6 engine and 367 horsepower. Here, though, you sense that Mercedes Afelterback sports car division has got a lot more serious about developing this car. There's a change to inline six cylinder power and a power hike to 435 horsepower. At the same time as this E Class variant future proofs itself with a switch to mild hybrid technology. Let's take a look. Previously, there was a bit of a gulf between the two engines that the Mercedes AMG sub-brand uses for larger cars made by the three-pointed star. These being the V6 43 unit and the blood and thunder four liter V8 of the ballistic 63 series cars. Now, you still can't have an E-Class Coupe, or for that matter, an E-Class Cabriolet with the V8 engine, but this E53 model's inline six-cylinder 435 horsepower unit delivers a lot of the uh, performance that unit might provide for this body style, together with a vastly more acceptable set of running costs thanks to the newly integrated mild hybrid tech. But you don't want to know about all that, not in this section anyway. Uh, you want to know how fast this E53 Coupe goes and whether it's just a bit of a boat that goes very quick in a straight line but can't do a lot else, as has been the case with AMG engineered E-Class Coupes of the past. Well, it isn't that. Come to this car and expect it to have the scalpel sharp handling responses of a similarly priced but slightly smaller C63 coupe and you'll be disappointed. But it's more everyday usable than one of those thanks to an AMG Dynamic Select driving mode system and the addition of an AMG ride control version of the Mercedes air body control air suspension system. In addition, there's 4Matic Plus all-wheel drive, a 9-speed AMG Speed Shift TCT Paddle Shift Auto Gearbox, and an AMG Performance Exhaust for an authentic sports car soundtrack. It all makes this car certainly quite dynamic enough to take on direct class rivals like uh, BMW's M850i Coupe. Rest to 62 miles an hour takes just 4.4 seconds, and the top speed has to be artificially restricted at 155 miles an hour. It's also a more rewarding thing than the other car in this category that uses hybrid technology, albeit in full hybrid rather than, as in this case, mild hybrid form, the Lexus LC500H. Visually, the 53 series model has a unique look. AMG specific side sill panels deliver a more dynamic silhouette and there's a twin blade radiator grille finished in silver chrome, previously a feature reserved only for the V8 performance models. The front apron, which has an A-wing design, is equipped with black flicks and a front splitter in silver chrome. The outer air intakes have two horizontal fins, also in silver chrome. At the rear, the classic round twin tailpipes are finished in high gloss chrome and there's a body coloured spoiler on the boot lid, optionally available in carbon fibre. Inside, there's AMG specific seat upholstery and red seat belts, plus trim elements in carbon fibre or as here in a glass fibre of matte silver combination. 
The interior is rounded off with the standard fit AMG Performance steering wheel in Nappa leather, but you can have individualization options on this wheel with inserts like wood or piano lacquer or Dynamica microfiber in the grip area. Now, as with an ordinary E-Class Coupe, you get a widescreen cockpit. That's two high-resolution 12.3-inch displays merged under a single lens. But here, in the instrument area, that setup includes a specific AMG menu. In the back, there's just about space for two adults to be reasonably comfortable. Certainly far more room than you get in a C-Class Coupe, or indeed a Lexus LC. As for the boot, well, that's 425 litres in size. Should you need to carry longer items, the middle backrest has two wide outer portions and a narrow inner portion that retracts, making it easier to push through things like skis and snowboards. The E53 Formatic Plus Coupe comes in two levels of trim, with prices that at the time of this test in early 2020 were pitched at around about £65,000 for the standard premium version and around £69,000 for the plusher premium plus variant. You can also get a cabriolet version of this car at a premium of just under £5,000 more. As you'd expect for that kind of money, equipment levels are generous. As well as AMG body styling, you get 19-inch AMG alloy wheels, AMG ride control damping with air body control air suspension, and an AMG performance exhaust system. Inside, the Napa leather sports seats are power operated and fitted out with red belts and a memory package. There's also the Mercedes widescreen cockpit screen package that bonds together a 12.3 inch Command Online Center Dash infotainment screen with a digital instrument cluster layout of the same size. In addition, there's a wireless charging mat and you get black open pore ash wood trim. Stretch to premium plus trim and Mercedes will give you larger 20 inch five twin spoke AMG alloy wheels, a panoramic glass sunroof, rear privacy glass, and a 13 speaker, 590 watt, nine channel Burmester surround sound system. The E53's engine is embellished with a bit of mild hybrid tech which sees an EQBoost starter alternator motor mounted between the engine and the 9-speed gearbox. It's a key component of the 48-volt onboard electrical system. The mild hybrid setup adds another 16 kilowatts, or around 20 horsepower, of boost to the total power output and 250 newton meters of extra torque and has been designed for maximum energy recuperation and the virtually imperceptible restarting of the engine with the start-stop function. There's also a gliding mode that disconnects the engine from the gearbox at a cruise. This powertrain also incorporates an exhaust gas after treatment system mounted near the engine and a standard fit particulate filter, uh, the only part of the exhaust system that's under the floor. Now you shouldn't get your hopes up too much for the difference all this will make. The WLTP combined cycle fuel reading is 31.4 miles to the gallon and the NEDC rated CO2 return is 202 grams per kilometre. To put that into perspective, the full hybrid model in this segment, the Lexus LC500H, manages 42.8 miles to the gallon and 150 grams per kilometre. But it's considerably better than the readings you'd get from a V8-powered C63 coupe model that wouldn't actually take you very much faster. That car can only manage 28 miles to the gallon and 230 grams per kilometre. Do you really need a faster, more luxurious performance coupe than this? Probably not. That won't prevent this E53 coupe from being a super rare sight on our roads though.
But if you're fortunate enough to be considering one, that'll be all part of the appeal. It's practical and reasonably spacious in the way that a C63 coupe isn't. It's sharper to drive and much more affordable than a Lexus LC or a BMW 8 Series coupe. And thanks to Formatic All Wheel Drive, AMG Ride Control, and the AMG Speed Shift gearbox, it feels more dynamic than any AMG fettled E Class coupe before it. There's even a Cabriolet version if you want a more exclusive feel. You could spend twice as much as Mercedes is asking here and not really better what this car can offer in terms of performance, dynamic ability, luxury and even exclusivity. If you don't feel the need to and find yourself in the market for a very quick, very plush four seat luxury coupe, then this one might be hard to ignore. <laughs>